think the book uh, was definitely an inspiration to National Park Service uh, managers in Washington and other officials contemplating the, the importance of the place. The Outermost House was assigned reading when I was, uh, came here as a ranger in 1984. I was part of a seasonal group of rangers that was here for the summer. And it was a short reading list, and that was one of the books. And uh, it was, I remember it being a very different book than all the other. Most of the other books were very factual, field guide type books, because we were all trying to prepare for doing nature programs and talks and working the visitor center. So we were all in this urgent mode to get fully trained up. But there was Beston's book kind of um, sitting out there, very different, very uh, spiritual. And some of the new rangers uh, embraced it and others kind of skipped through it. There's no question he influenced me because he talked about the Great Beach. And the line, my line, my big tagline is, I'm as unfinished as the shoreline along the beach meant to transcend myself again and again. And every time you walk down the beach, and Henry introduced me to this, you see how unfinished the beach is. It's going to be different next season. It's going to be different all through the year. It, it will never be the same day to day. And then I realized when I became a writer of the sea that nor was my life. And I'm sure Henry was looking for metaphors, and he certainly had great angst about the fact that the world way back then was too much, was too fast, was not seasonal, was not living in a pace of the sea. So he certainly influenced me, and yes, I think uh, certainly he influenced any writer who comes to Cape Cod. You can't come here and not read The Outermost House. It is irresistible to compare Henry Bestman to Henry Thoreau. Like Walden, uh, the outermost house follows the course of the seasons. It is contemplative. It is a book about solitude and nature, and yet something much more than simply that. So um, there were uh, the uh, the outermost house. Uh, I think had a had a great deal of influence in gathering public opinion, and the opinion of some rather influential politicians um, to save that 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 land uh, where the outermost house and the the great outer beach were it is the most of any literature i've read it is the most invested in its subject and it has more poetry in the in the narrative and the prose it is absolutely extraordinary it was kind of there uh, a lot of people working in the park on the seashore didn't know the book, or, or didn't talk about the book if they knew about it. But among a number of us, it was like a, uh, a validation uh, of what we were up to. I mean, you were, it was an inspiration. It was banked. It wasn't passionate, but it was present. And uh, a number of us talked about it, and there were references to it. I can't. I mean, I know Saltonstone, Richardson particularly. Richardson and I used to talk about the outermost house a lot. And I, and I know that Saltonstone mentioned it, whether because he mentioned it because, uh, you know, in, in the course of the, of the work to get the legislation established. I'm not sure that he mentioned it because he was that personally acquainted with it and therefore it was on his mind or because he recognized, oops, this is an icon kind of an, uh, that... Uh, I better get some credit for knowing about it and I better use uh, because of its prestige and its, its power it to increase the chances of getting the legislation through. I'm not sure. I don't remember Kennedy, but Fred Holborn and, and uh, David Martin and I and later Milt Wurtzman, you know, we, we talked about the Adamos House. Beston also, I think the Adamos House is very important in another way. In a, um, uh, in a sense because uh, The Outermost House is a key transitional work between the early years of the, the progressive movement, uh, the conservation movement, uh, Teddy Roosevelt, and the late 20th century, more modern, multifaceted environmentalism. Um, the Outermost House is not just about the land, although that's important. It is also about a way of seeing the earth seeing the earth around us. 
And so it is a, you know, in, in many ways a key transitional book. And the fact that Rachel Carson cites it as one of the biggest influences on her writing, that in itself makes The Outermost House an important work.